Yo, I just found out YouTubers are really bad at spelling. Now, why would I even bother to care about this? Long story short, I don't. But I have a really funny story of how I got here. So it all started when I quit my programming job a month ago and asked myself the question, what would be the quickest way to land an interview at a programming job? And what better person to answer that than the HR lady? Sorry, I'm sweating so much. It's actually 40 degrees here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hello, miss. So, how do you spell your name? Is it, is it Marta? Martha? Martha. Okay, Martha. Welcome, welcome. So, how are you feeling today? Pretty good. It's pretty boring. Um, so, let's get right to it. The viewers want to know what you're looking for in a guy. I don't know, like uh, good personality, funny. So, no programming? Oh, you mean like an applicant? Yeah. Oh, usually I... Can you, can you actually grab the mic? <laughs> Usually I just want to know if a candidate is passionate about programming and the best way to do that is through hobbies or open source projects. Basically just show that you're willing to code for no money. Yeah, not sure if this was worth it. Fuck! Okay guys, you heard the lady, it's time to write some code for free. Psych! Yo, I mean, come on, that would be actual work. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. I got a much better idea, let me show you. So this is a website called GitHub. Basically, if you're a programmer, you can develop your projects and share them here. The cool thing is that the website also saves the entire history of the project in the form of commits. A commit is any group of changes done to any files contained in the project. Another cool feature, and the one I actually care about, is this contributor section right here. These are the people who have made commits on this particular project. And I want to get my name on as many of these as possible. Dude, but doesn't that mean you have to write actual code? <laughs> All I have to do is correct a single typo. See, this is actually one of my projects. And if you were to inspect what the contributor actually did, all he really did was correct a single typo. Obviously, I'm not gonna do this by hand. So I ended up having to write a little bit of code, but it didn't have to be good code. So all the algorithm does is look for projects with many stars. Then it checks the project description in hopes of finding any typos. When it does, it asks me if I want to correct any of that shit. I can choose to ignore it if I think it's a false positive. Also wrote a bunch of checks to avoid as many false positives as possible. In the end, it opens the pull request of shame, correcting all the typos. Now all I was left was grinding through these projects. Cheese. Three days later. Gotta be honest with y'all. This experiment kind of sucked. I grinded for three days, fighting typo after typo, fighting all of the false positives, and it wasn't that great. I did have some mild successes, some pull requests got accepted. I even got these guys to put up a picture of me, and it even links to my YouTube channel. Not bad, not bad. But to be honest, most projects didn't even care at all. So is this gonna be it? Did I do all of this for nothing? Should I just give up and spend the rest of my days living in nature? Or should I just dunk on some projects of my favorite YouTubers and shame all their typos in an epic race of who spells the shitties? Yep, probably going for a second one. So without further ado... Official YouTube Programmer Spell Off! Looks like we got a great matchup here today, folks. Lots of big names in the coding community are gonna be competing in this GitHub Spell Off. Michael Reeves is here today, definitely a crowd favorite. Spencer Cornelia is also present. I didn't even know he codes. Lex Friedman also made it, and we also have other big names present. Give it up for Hobson, Jabrils, Zach Friedman, Ben Awad, James Bruton, and all the other racers. What a great matchup, folks. Lots of typos to be expected. Other than that, I don't even know the rules of this thing. Looks like the players are getting ready for the race. And off they go. Oh, we got plenty of typos right off the bat. Three typos from Jabril's. Codeir got another three wrong. Platforms, Exacut, and Stuido. Both players are neck and neck. Now we got the others making mistakes. Ironically, Michael Reeves misspelled the word swear. Can't even spell what he does the most. Tantan Dev is making big moves. He misspelled regularly and separated in a row and is now tied at first place. We are 20 seconds in and Jabril's takes the lead by misspelling the word successes. Zach Friedman got his first typo, but I guess you could say it's irrelevant. Many other players are making their way up the middle places also. We got Ben Awad in fifth place, followed by Developed by Ed. Hops and now also moving up to the middle positions by writing Comiracles. Tantan Dev and Jabril still in the lead. Hobson making good progress now, reaching eight typos in fourth place. James Bruton and Ben Awad are now left behind. And it doesn't look like the crowd favorites Michael Reeves and Lex will be shining much more today. The top five places only have a three-point difference. Right now, Tantan Dev is in the lead. Oh wait, just got overthrown by Codier again. Jabril's does not want to give up his spot in first place, getting to 15 points now with the help of a double misspelling. Oh, what's this? A trifecta performed by Hobson. Big move there. Hobson keeps misspelling the word dependencies. 
it's working wonders for him. Codier again with the platforms, also misspelled Exploration and Driver, taking the lead with 21 points. Tantan Dev does not seem to be keeping up anymore with the top typoers. Fuck. Hopson managed to write Genertated somehow, what a brain fart that was. Jabril's moving up, one typo after the other, and he takes the lead with 24 points. James Bruton now left behind, it is now a race between Hopson, Jabril's, and Codier, all tied with 25 points. Small moves from the top racers, they are all still pretty much tied at 29 points. This is nerve-wracking, folks, hold on to your seats. Codier just misspelled public twice in a row, or did he mean pubic? Who knows? What's this? Hopson takes the lead, a five-point lead out of nowhere, and he won't stop, a 10-point lead. I think the race is over, folks. And Hopson just left everyone in the dust, winning with 65 points total and a 29 point difference to the second place. What an incredible race. I'm still not so sure about the rules, but man, was this exciting. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next YouTuber Spell Off. What a great matchup, eh? I didn't mean to shame anybody. I didn't even develop a decent scoring system for this thing, so don't worry about it. Special thanks to all the people that actually did accept my pull request. Essentially, I think it was just Jelly and Nico, but Jelly accepted really, really quickly. I even got a GitHub badge for it. So all in all, I think it was super worth it. What would make it really worth it, though, is if you share this video with your friends, with your family, with your favorite YouTubers who be writing a lot of typos. Get that subscriber count up in the end. Did I get a new job because of this? The answer is...